afternoon. Taking a little break this afternoon. The uh, kind of wanted to show you show you around a little bit, and just kind of see where I'm at. Um, I've been asked, "What is I plan to do out here?" So maybe I'll kind of answer that a bit, <clears throat> kind of show the progress, and take a trip down a light. Take a trip down the hill. I've been down there once before, but since then I've been told there's an ATV trail down there. And I have heard ATVs really close, and I'm thinking that might be where it came from. Let me, let me show you around a little bit. So you can kind of see where I'm at here. This is a neighbor's property right here, but they don't use it to do anything. That's got to get taken down, that green structure there. This is my road in. This goes on for a mile. So I, I am totally off grid here. Mostly because the power pole is a mile away and doesn't look like it's coming in anytime soon. I've met about half the property owners on this on this um, road, and everybody seems really good. Everybody seems really nice and easy going. So that's a good thing to have good neighbors. And you can kind of see we're coming back. My property starts right there at the wood pile, which has been growing. I have uh, over a cord of wood there, and that's going to grow at least another half a cord. My property goes down to about where that pine tree is at the end of the cul-de-sac. But I'm down to about two dozen trees left to cut down. Oh, and I got a little upgrade here. I put my shower tent. That is really nice on days like uh, today where it's 60 degrees taking a shower. That is, that makes a huge difference. Um, we're just coming off like five or six days of rain, colds. It's still getting below freezing at night. But today, today and yesterday warmed up. But kind of get an idea of how many trees I've cut down here. When we come back up the other side, you'll be able to see where my solar panels are going to go. And also you'll see the biggest, scariest hung up tree I've ever seen in my life on the neighbor's property. This is starting to open up. I said I still got a couple dozen trees to cut down and clean up all this stuff in here until the bulldozer gets here. But it's coming together. So I call this Department of Natural Resources. I got my first leaf mold compost going and the wood pile and my pile of rocks to make a fire pit out of. Yeah, I know it still looks like a big mess, but once that bulldozer comes through here, pushes all this brush and stumps down the hill and levels this out, I should get good bit of flat land. This this hump right here that goes on most of the uh, property. It's about five feet high. Once that gets brought over, it should about, once I take this old stump down, um, give me about, I don't know, 60 feet wide of level land, 300 feet long. So that's, that's pretty good. I can deal with that. That'll work for me. So this is where I want to go today down the hill and this does get pretty steep so it's going to be noisy and shaky that's the way it is and you see it starts to drop off pretty fast as we come down and even faster down there And I'm just going to have to get some snake boots this spring because snakes aren't out now, but they will be. So we're all down at the bottom of the property. You can see it flattens out down here. This would be a pretty easy area to clean up. I plan on putting a gun range here coming down from about here. So I'm at the base of my hill. So I'll have a good backstop. This is a creek. Wet, wet, wet weather creek. Let's see if I can get across here somewhere. It's not going to kill me. I 
as we get in here. You can see it runs pretty good when it runs. There's pretty good erosion in here. All right, that sucked. We're in a storage space on my phone. So I had to go back up the hill, get my GoPro, and come back down. I'm bringing it out a little bit further. I don't know if you can see me or not. <clears throat> so, like I was saying, it's pretty good erosion in here, so it must get up pretty good. Let me turn it around. Now you can kind of get an idea of that hill. But, I want to find that ATV trail if it exists. See if there's any tracks on it. Set up to get a uh, trail cam near it. Hopefully the sound on this is pretty good. I really haven't used it. So like I said, I've, as far as I know, this creek bed is basically my property line. So, hey, there it is. And looking at the crust leaves in here, people do use this. Yeah, so we're in the hollow. You can see up there. That's the next ridge over for me. And I want to bring my metal detector down here. See if there's anything down here. Oh, this is so much smoother than using my phone from the video screen. Yeah, this keeps going on. Technically, I'm on somebody else's property. And as always, there's some trash. So, yep, people have been using this. And there's some fresh tracks. In the mud. <clears throat> so that is recent. So yeah, these people were out here. I don't know if I said it the other night. It was 6:30 at night, pitch black, 34 degrees, and raining hard. And I could hear this ATV going around, and it was so close to me. I'm like, where are they? I wonder if, yep, they were. They were down here on the trail. I don't know why you'd want to come out in 34 degrees, hard rain, in the pitch black, and do that. Well, we're going to walk down a little ways, and we're going to head back up. There's something shiny on my property up there. I don't know what it is. Let's check that out. All right, so we got the cam, cam cam, game cam. Yeah, trail cam set up somewhere here. And it's going to stick out like a sore thumb this time of year, so I may just set it up over there on my property. Um, just looking for any animals coming by. Is there a deer down here? And... I've heard wolves, not down here, but hopefully not down here. Coyotes, there are mountain lions, bears. I've seen fox and deer so far. I've heard the coyotes and the wolves. And they are distinctly different from the coyotes. It's pretty nice down here though. So I want to get back across to my property and which I may have to go down a little further. Alright, back on my property. You can see this is a good flat area. It'd be easy to clear this all out. I got about 50 yards going straight to my hill. They could set up a little firing range, so that'd be good. A little table down here. And trust me, there's gunshots all the time down here. All around here with the trees off the leaves and the way the sound goes off the ridges, it really travels. 
I was hearing that noise again last night. It was making the dogs across the way go nuts. I don't know what it is. It doesn't sound like a coyote. It doesn't sound like a wolf. I spent a couple hours online looking at wolf howls and coyotes. I've heard coyotes, you know, all my life. It's definitely not a coyote. I don't know what it is. But, oh, the game cam. Yeah, I'm going to set this up over here. Coming down the, uh, the hill, I did see some deer tracks in the, the leaves. You can see where they compress them. So, let me shut this off for a minute. I'm going to get back to you because I didn't bring my tripod. Alright, just set that up on a tree. Kind of looking down. See her over there. Just kind of see what kind of comes through this alley right here. I'll probably leave it up for about a month. So let's go over here. And kind of check out the neighbors. Neighbors Jackie. Treehouse platform thing. And the uh, down tree. I'm actually going up this way. It's a whole lot easier than heading over there. Right. So this is Yeah. 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 It's an interesting construction. Oh, yeah. The most awesome hung up tree in the world. You can see it cut off that stump right there in the bottom. And somehow, he got it caught up over there in that V-notch. Yeah. A little high, you can see the whole thing. Yeah, you can kind of get the idea of that now. That's crazy. You would think there's no way he couldn't have made that go down the hill. But he didn't. All right. Back up to the top. Now you can see, yeah, I've cleared a lot over here. Just got a few more over there. Well, this is where the solar panels are going. This will get leveled out. All these pumps taken away. So it's going to be about 20 feet by 12 feet. And the reason for this is the only spot. It's going to get sun all year. Right now it's winter time. And the sun is above the tree line. So even when it's not, there's no leaves on the tree, so it's getting full sun. <clears throat> but in the summertime, when there's leaves on it, the sun will be higher. And uh, still get full sun over here. So this is my one good spot. And half of that's, well, most of it's due to the fact that across the cul-de-sac, the trees are further away. And they're not casting a shadow over here. But across down the road where they're a lot closer. The shadows, can you see them coming across the road? Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of brush. But I haven't figured out exactly where the house is going yet. But that little tree is going. I have a feeling it's going to be right in here. Right. This will all get leveled out. So it should end up being right in here going back. And I'll be good. Alright guys, I know this is kind of long. It's kind of showing where I'm at and what's around me and what's on the property.
I'm going to get a good shower. Uh, have a good day. Hope you're doing well. <laughs>